Before operating the machine, thoroughly read safety and operation information in the operator's manual. The left multifunction lever button controls stripping unit and header operating height. The stripping units are all height independent and are individually controlled by the stripping unit height control system. Press and hold the forward part of the button to raise the entire header. Press and hold the rear part of the button to lower the header. The automatic header height control system does not affect the header position. The two outer edges of the control button raise and lower all of the stripping units on the header. Press and hold the left side of the switch to raise all of the stripping units. Press and hold the right side of the switch to lower all of the stripping units. Two of the programmable buttons at the top of the multifunction lever are used to control header position. Button 3 can be used with the video camera display. Buttons 1 and 2 can be used as header height set point resume buttons. Press and hold the desired button until the command center displays the header resume set point screen. Turn the selection dial to the desired header position. Press enter to save the setting. Once set, press and release a button to move the header to the preset position. The two button positions are independent. Example set points might be the normal operating height in the field and a raised position for end row turning and maneuvering. Other examples might be two different header operating heights for different conditions within the field. The header height control response rate knob is located at the right front corner of the armrest module. Turning the knob changes the command center screen to a graphic indicating header height response with a numeric value. Rotating the knob clockwise increases the numeric value and the stripping unit height response rate, making the system more sensitive to variations in the field surface. Rotating the knob counterclockwise reduces the numeric value and the response rate, making the system less sensitive. Setting the system to operate with the slowest possible response rate while avoiding digging or pushing in soft or wet field conditions will result in the smoothest operation. Height sensing system set point adjust buttons are provided for each of the stripping units and are located in the center of the armrest module. Each stripping unit operates independently. To change a specific row unit height set point, press and hold the stripping unit number button until the command center displays a numeric representation of header height. Rotate the selection dial to increase or decrease the numeric setting and the relative operating height above the field surface for the specific stripping unit. If the operator wants to raise one stripping unit, for example to clear dragging debris, momentarily press and release the button for that stripping unit the unit will raise to maximum height. Pressing and releasing the button again returns the unit to the set point height. Header drive adjustments can be made in the command center. Press the machine configuration button in the home screen menu area, then the header setup button. The header setup menu button opens a screen which displays the header type and number of stripping units detected by the system. With the machine at high idle and the header engaged, use the buttons to set the desired header speed while watching the header speed readout in the corner post display. The drive speed range is 500 to 700 RPM. The header drive speed alarm is adjustable in 5 RPM increments from 500 to 700 RPM. If header speed drops below the set point, an alarm is sounded to alert the operator. For more detailed information, refer to the operator's manual.